E-W-S. It's the Overnight Underground. I'm John Ford, and here's the headlines. Mickey goes into hiding. Eisner. Costco coronavirus weekend kicks off. Must this all end in violence? The bipolar market goes bonkers. And sometimes I just go nuts like now. <laughs> Your testicles could be in trouble. Testicles? Yes, ma'am. Tell them why yours are so tasty. The trick is you've got to clip them off way up high. Iran gets handed its ass by COVID and the U.S. Air Force. All this and more coming up on today's Overnight Underground News. The global pandemic panic continues its spread this Friday. Let's see, Mickey has shut his doors along with Universal Studios Hollywood. Sorry folks, park's closed. The moose out front should have told you. Disneyland confirmed yesterday that starting tomorrow, it will close the happiest place on earth, turning it into just another coronavirus ghost town. Both parks are saying they hope to reopen sometime around the end of the month. The least they could have done is to distribute their toilet paper. I'll bet that dirty little rat has squirreled away quite a stash of bog paper. Oh, and Broadway has decided to shut its doors and discontinue that singing and dancing on the Great White Way. And nothing of value was lost. On the subject of toilet paper, this intrepid reporter ventured out of quarantine here in Austin yesterday and made that most dangerous of all journeys, a trip to the local grocery store. Indeed, the H-E-B was full of amateur shoppers in the middle of a Thursday with carts full to the brim of all kinds of assorted crap. Yes, dear listener, it's like Lord of the f***ing Flies in the toilet paper aisle. Empty and violent. Where are your damn wipe-happy dancing bears now? I'm not picking it up. You pick it up. I'm not picking it up. Well, somebody's got to pick it up. I'll pick it up. They're clean. The great ass wipe panic of 2020 is in full swing here in Austin, took us, which now has two, two, two mints in one. Confirmed cases of the aforementioned plague. Still, here's a question to ponder. Why is it the very same people who will wag their finger at you and tell you you don't need that much ammo are the same ones who are now buying 500 rolls of toilet paper? Following yesterday's stock market meltdown, ending the day with its worst outing since the 1987 crash, it's pretty much anyone's guess what happens by the end of the day today. The Dow futures were up over 1,100 in pre-market trading. Overseas trading is mostly mixed. The FTSE and the DAX are up, while the Nikkei and the Hang Seng were trading down. The Dow did come up in early trading after the open, nearly 800 points. Still, unless you're invested heavily in cleaning products, you're probably boned. Well, we're boned! Meanwhile, in New York City, Mayor de Blasio has gone on record that the city is not shutting down and is open for business. De Blasio said on Fox 5's Good Day New York that, quote, New Yorkers don't scare easily, and blasted the rumors that all of Manhattan was getting ready to be quarantined. So come visit the Big Apple and enjoy yourself. Just don't plan on seeing a Broadway show, taking it in a museum, going to the opera or a sporting event, eating out or whisking around town in an infected subway car. But yeah, enjoy your stay. Yesterday we learned that COVID-19 is airborne, meaning that you can even catch a damn thing just from talking to someone. Today we learned that our testicles are in trouble. Oh no! According to that bastion of journalistic integrity, the Daily Mail, doctors in China think that coronavirus may inhibit sperm production, even after you've gotten over the bug. <laughs> my balls! Exactly. Speaking of ball busters, the Canadian Prime Minister's wife has tested positive for coronavirus. According to Yahoo News, the PM said he will be, quote, spending the day in briefings, phone calls, and virtual meetings from home. No worries. Trudeau allegedly has plenty of Labatt's, Tim Hortons, and NHL VS tapes in his bunker while conspiring Canada's take over of the world. And then we'll all be sorry. In most of the Western world, we're just dealing with shutdowns of sporting events, theme parks, and the like. But in Norway, they're getting ready to shut down the entire country. Wait, don't they have one of those alleged magical socialist governments that Bernie and AOC just love so much? Like for what? The list of mandatory shutdowns include kindergartens, child care facilities, schools and universities, professional and amateur sports, along with hairdressers, massage clinics, gyms and tattoo parlors. Restaurants, bars, pubs and nightclubs will be required to close if they can't guarantee a three foot distance between patrons. Yeah, good luck with that. The Magic Kingdom may be going down, but Pornhub is keeping it up for free for shot-in Italians. Italians are set to get free premium porn content from Pornhub. 
As the website announced, they will spread open their premium content to the entire country this month. Let's see, where's that damn Italian VPN server again? Meanwhile, in Iran, a number of sources are reporting that coronavirus burial pits are so big in the land of the Ayatollah that they're even visible from space. In space! Of course, Tehran denies all of this is nonsense, but according to some experts, two large trenches, which total 100 yards, are visible. In space! There is no denying that the U.S. has conducted airstrikes against multiple Iranian-backed militia sites in Iraq. This in retaliation for a rocket attack that killed two Americans and one British service member. Things are going boom for Iran's militias in Iraq at the moment. He blowed up. Hey, remember that story from last week where Brian Williams and the New York Times' Mara Gray both flunked math class? Bloomberg spent $500 million on ads, U.S. population $327 million. Uh, Don't tell us if you're ahead of us on the math. He could have given each American one million dollars and have had lunch money left over. It's an incredible way of putting it. It's an incredible way of putting it. It's true. Now, in an editorial, Gay is claiming, wait for it, racism in response. In a New York Times editorial, Gay said, I'm a black woman who writes for the New York Times and appears on national TV. And if you're black in America, no matter who you are, what you accomplish or how hard you work, there will always be people to remind you that you are black, that you are just a A colleague at the Times, an African-American woman, wrote to me on Friday afternoon, quote, they resent that you exist. Yeah, say stupid shit on national TV, get called out for it, and it's someone else's fault. Everyone's a victim, even if they're an idiot. Oh, what the hey, we got time for a Florida man story. It seems that Tyler Hardiman is being charged with domestic aggravated battery with a deadly weapon for hitting a fellow diner at a Mickey D's with a hamburger. Hardiman also allegedly struck the victim in the knee with a vape pen. Oh, the humanity. The perp reportedly works as a packer at a liquor store. You're drunk. He was booked into the Pasco County Jail. N-E-W-S. A mostly correct and occasionally incomplete transcript and links to reference sources and articles of this Overnight Underground can be found at OvernightUnderground.com.